Hey guys, I think I figured out how to do lambda tracing. Let me just show you quickly from scratch. Hello world. Uh, that's called uh, YouTube. Um, Got to put my profile here. Default one is my work one actually. Um, oh, and then I need this um, the right lambda permissions. Add the permissions like so. All right, then you deploy. Excites. Talk about excites. I am so excited about uh, TJ Holloway Chuck's Apex Up. Golang on Lambda. What a wonderful combo. What a wonderful combo. Okay, so going back to, well, Lambda. I think the debugging story from AWS is pretty poor. Like, they should like save the events better. They should link the the CloudWatch logs to the request IDs better. They, they, you have to like laboriously seek things out in CloudWatch at the moment. And um, well, I did just I just did try uh, tried uh, tracing at work. Um, it's a bit high level. The tracing just gives you sort of like what's happening in the container. I guess it's understandable because really Lambda is, is language agnostic. So what do you expect? It's still deploying. Come on, dude. It does take some time. Yeah, it would be so awesome to be able to like set breakpoints and and have a look at what's going on inside your lambda functions. Uh, when when will that come? I guess I I was speaking to tweeting uh, to T J Holiday Chuck and he was saying that he just does a lot of testing. You know, ha has tests the hell out of his his uh, his code before he puts it into lambda. I guess that's the important thing to do. Okay, come on. Okay, now it should be here. Come on, come on. Uh, YouTube. Hopefully this is a pro Oh, it's a new East. Oh, forgot to put the region. Noob mistake. You, uh, what is that again? What's this one here? Lambda. So now, since I have the permissions uh, to be pedantic, it's these guys. Now that I have the permissions, I should be able to just be able to go. Advanced settings, enable active and tracing save and then if I go um, few traces next row this should be nothing I guess there's nothing here but then if I go um, curl there should be something here now come on here we go One millisecond. I think it's rounded up, doesn't it? It gets rounded up. So you charged, um, I think, by by for two hundred millisecond operator. Let me see. You can see you can see the um, how much they charge you, and I think the cloud watch logs makes it crystal clear. See, build duration 100 milliseconds. Oh, it only took 2.4 milliseconds. 
according to this. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, so the lambda is different to the actual uh, HTTP event timing, perhaps. It's a bit confusing. But yeah, the... It's a little bit underwhelming tracing. It doesn't... I guess it just gives you a high-level view of the container, not much more than that. Not much more than that. Why doesn't giving me my IP? Anyway, I hope that gives you an idea. Please like the video, comment if you know better, and um, thank you for watching.